Hi there, stargazers, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. Today's uh, forecast is I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be doing a spread while well, I already shuffle the cards, laid them out, and put the spread on the table for the year 2024. And this is just um, for general energies around the globe. So this is kind of like a reading for the, the world, <laughs> a global reading for 2024, just to see what kind of energies. I broke it up from uh, central energy and then broke it down into first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter, just to kind of see give us some idea as to what we can expect in the uh, year 2024. I was very, very curious about it. I know this is a little bit different than what I normally do on the channel, but uh, bear with me and uh, let's see how this goes. Then you can let me know in the comments below what you think of the reading and uh, we'll go from there. So, Overall energy for the world. I'm happy to see this actually uh, in 2024 is the hanged man in the reverse position. Hanged man in the upright position represents needing to put things on hold. Um, this is like looking at things from a different perspective. It could have been, you know, the energy from for people globally. Perhaps we're looking at things from a different perspective. It could have also been, in a sense, we were put on hold due to various reasons where, you know, the energies just couldn't, were stuck and couldn't move forward in previous years. So it looks like in 2024 with the hangman in reverse, there is going to be release of that. It looks like there's gonna be a lot more movement forward. People will be perhaps getting the answers that they've been needing that have been maybe held up or suspended prior to, and now we'll finally see the release of that. That's the overall energy for 2024, and it's not too bad if you ask me. <laughs> so in the first quarter, I have three cards pulled here, and this is January through March. We see in January nice energies here of the chariot in the upright position. Well, this is a card that represents fast, it's movement forward quickly. So can also indicate travel, travel going well, moving smoothly. For those of you who do uh, a lot of traveling, it could indicate anything from the auto industry picks up because the chariot does also um, govern vehicles themselves. Um, it could just represent people finally being able to spring forward, to have victories and success. So it's very black and white type of energy. Now for the next card, we have the Seven of Cups. This could be read as January, February, March. So this could be February's energy, which is Seven of Cups in the upright position. Represents a lot of uh, opportunities, a lot of options that could be out there, maybe opening up. It's a brand new year. There could be new energies around, new possibilities for anything from housing to employment and so forth. The only thing is when it comes to the Seven of Cups, in the upright position. It's very Neptunian energy, can create a little bit of confusion. So again, we always have to choose wisely when it comes to making choices and decisions for whatever is out there. So February, it looks like it could be a little bit of a, of a confusing month, perhaps. Remember, February, late February is actually Pisces season. So maybe going into Pisces season, things can become a little bit Neptunian and a little bit um, veiled, is for lack of a better word. Now in March, we do see the Five of Wands here in the upright position. The Five of Wands represents a lot of he said, she said, could be some verbal confl conflict. It could be that people are just, you know, fighting amongst themselves. It could be lots of drama. It could also represent a lot of stiff competition. Now, there could be some squabbling due to the end of March actually starts Aries season. Aries is ruled by Mars. So that does kind of make sense that maybe there will be more scrimmages or also um, competition in the, our fields of whatever it is we're trying to do and trying to accomplish. Now these are world energies. 
but world energies pertain to us individually because we live in this world. We live on this uh, earth. So of course the energies that are affecting everyone globally are going to affect us individually. Now, if I put the cards all together here um, for the first quarter, it looks like there will be options, opportunities, but it, it, it could be coming with a little bit of drama or conflict uh, connected to some of these options or opportunities that are out there for people. Um, the chariot indicating here is really, really strong. It is major arcana energy. And it does sort of start off this first quarter and the year. So it does look like fast movement forward, um, movement ahead could be sometimes really fast, maybe too fast for some people. And uh, that in itself can cause a lot of confusion and perhaps uh, drama. So it looks, uh, the first quarter looks strong and looks a little exciting as far as I'm concerned. Now we have, going into April, May, and June, we have the... Ace of Wands, we have the Ace of Cups here, and Major Arcana, the Hierophant. So it looks pretty interesting starting in April with the Ace of Wands. It's, it's kind of uh, ironic because, you know, the wands represent the, the fire signs, and springtime is associated with the sign of Aries, which is a fire sign, and the Ace of Wands represents a new beginning. So this could be a new beginning in uh, business enterprise, a new mode of travel. It seems like the first half of the year, there's like some kind of travel changes involved in it, but it seems to be on the positive side. So it's possible they could come up with perhaps new modes of travel that people will be very interested in. I mean, look at when the Tesla first came out, everybody went crazy over that particular vehicle. So it could be something like that. Maybe something new comes on the market in the first half of the year, and it could be involving a, a new way to travel. Um, could be anything from, you know, vehicles to new air travel, train travel, what have you. But getting back to uh, the month of April, Ace of Wands is a passionate new beginning, right? We're dealing with spring at this time. It makes perfect sense. Spring is usually seen as a time of new beginnings. That's when everything starts to sprout and gives people energy. Now, this card is also representative of energy. It could be new ideas are springing up everywhere. Uh, new ideas that are exciting people on the whole. Um, could be, again, like I said, something new is put on the market for uh, everybody to be able to either purchase or enjoy somehow. Now we have May, which is beautiful Ace of Cups here, another new beginning in the month of May. But this is something that can represent something that's going to make people really, really happy on the emotional front. Now this could be a, a general you know, emotional awakening for individuals on the planet to um, to something happening that's going to make the, the world feel like a good place, like a safe place, like we're having a new beginning. Um, I really hope this is true because, you know, with everything going on right now, this would be wonderful. The Ace of Cups is the, the beginning of the heart opening again. A lot of people's emotions have been shut down in the last couple of years due to everything that is going on worldwide as well as in their personal life. So let's hope that uh, this is going to be on a, on a huge level where everybody is feeling that self-love and that love that uh, just overflows. And then we're dealing with, in June, the Hierophant in the upright position, just Taurus energy, but the Hierophant represents commitments. This could be um, new contracts, new commitments, perhaps something like I said, it looks to me like overall in the second quarter, there's going to be new beginnings introduced to us all, maybe around the globe. And this could bring in a new contract. It could bring in a new contract, but it looks so positive with this Ace of Wands and this Ace of Cups there. Whatever this new contract is or this thing that we're going to feel like committing to, it could be a new form of spirituality. It could be something that's coming through that's really, really, really positive. It's just making us feel like the potential is here. Now, remember, when it comes to Aces, they're new beginnings that 
spring all kinds of potentials. The potentiality here is incredible. What a strong, strong second quarter it looks like for 24. So now we have the third quarter. We have the Seven of Swords reverse the Page of Pentacles in the upright and the Queen of Wands here upright. Now, now we're dealing with July, August, September. Well, starts off with the Seven of Swords in the reverse position. Seven of Swords in the upright position is that sort of sketchy energy where, um, you know, this is this can represent the sneak thief, somebody trying to sneak off, uh, sneak away after the cons. Like they don't want to pay for the consequences of dishonorable acts and the good news is this in reverse can indicate thief gets caught this indicates that whoever was trying to be sneaky or sketchy it could be coming out in the open now so this could be something that's in the news that comes out and maybe shocks a lot of people or surprises a lot of people because they didn't realize that this this energy was going on in the first place, this could represent a big reveal of that. It's also the card known in the upright position as avoidance. So it could be all the things that we have been avoiding as a society. We are finally going to just, you know, jump right in. We are no longer going to be avoiding it and we're going to be moving forward with something. Now, the second card here, which represents um, August, is uh, the Page of Pentacles in the upright. Well, the Page of Pentacles represents the scholar, right? It represents, it could be youthful groups coming up with new ideas. It could represent, uh, it's Pentacles, so that usually deals with the tangible things in life, such as our home, our finances, our uh, property, our businesses, work, those kinds of things, all the stuff that makes the world go round. Money makes the world go round. So it's, it's not just money, but it's also goods and services and so forth. Um, the Page of Pentacles is, like pages usually bring some kind of message. There could be a really encouraging message here uh, to society on the whole that could affect um, each individual. And now it could be about money. It could be about the, the financial system. It could be uh, messages about, you know, going forward or any kind of changes that are being made in the financial system. We see everything is moving and shifting. We are definitely on the precipice of something big coming in, big, massive changes. So this could be the beginning where we're just hearing the message of in some way how the financial system it will be uh, tackled or changed or dealt with. It could also represent, you know, housing as well because it is pentacle. So we could be getting an encouraging message about things such as, as that. Maybe the housing crisis will be, you know, calming down or this is just the beginning stages. Remember, it's just a page. So this is not like massive news that changes everything overnight. This is just sort of like the beginning stages where everybody sort of gets the message. This is on the, the page we're on right now. And this is where we're flipping the page to. And then it's, it's literally a page. <laughs> just realized that now. Um, and then we move on to September. Queen of Wands in the upright position. Well, Queen of Wands represents what? Business, enterprise, travel, um, excitement, adventure. <laughs> so it could be in the month of, but she also represents a lot of action, activity, things moving, finally moving. It seems to be the theme of this year, the, the hanged man, the, the chariot being here seems like we're going to see a lot more movement in 2024 in general but the queen of wands represents that go-getter energy this is like let's get moving let's business and enterprise let's perhaps be innovative with that come up with new ideas uh, to start especially coming off of this uh, page of pentacles it could be representing of anything from say the government uh, could be giving grants for something like that but you have to start a business this could be you know in September now to get that grant you have to start the business so it could be something like that going on in conjunction with general movement overall 
overall across the board. There could be a lot of uh, new businesses popping up. There could be a lot of, uh, of action being taken in areas where there was stagnation before. So it looks like the third quarter, a lot going on there, but it seems to be more reflective of what is changing up here. Now, it's time to put in the work, it looks like, in the third quarter. It's time to get to work and for everybody to start implementing whatever good changes and new beginnings were coming in at the beginning of the year. It's time to implement them. It's time to put them into action now. Now, in the fourth quarter, we have the temperance in the upright position, the king of pentacles in the upright position, and the four of wands. Wow, this is very encouraging to end the year of 2024. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, what does this represent? This represents a lot of cooperation. It, it represents mixing and blending and having things work out super well, which is always encouraging because we've had a lot of uh, energies that have been at odds lately. So this is very encouraging, I find. Temperance is all about that cooper cooperative energy. Also, what else is temperance about? It's about healing. There could be a lot of healing going on towards the end of 2024. It could be, uh, you know, healing on a global level. It could be healing of the planet. It could be healing of uh, people's relationships, whatever's going on. It's beautiful energy. This is mixing and blending and having everything just work out beautiful. Everybody knows I call this my baker's card. Um, so we are moving on that September. We're moving on to October. We have the king of, or is that, uh, no, that's October. This is November and that's December. So we have the king of pentacles here in the upright position. King of Pentacles, it, again, it's very similar energy to the Page of Pentacles. This could be, again, a centering around the financial system, people's finances in general. But this is, again, encouraging news because in the third quarter, we're at the Page of Pentacles. In the fourth quarter, we are at the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles has arrived in the sense that he's built something from the Page stage, and now he's taken it to the King level. The, the King of Pentacles is known as someone who owns and operates a successful business. This can represent a financial advisor. This can represent real estate agents and all of the people that deal with the tangible things in life. So going up a notch, it could be people in general, perhaps from their finances are going to be taking a big shift towards the up upward scale. It can represent um, things like the global financial system, perhaps getting um, in, going into a better place and having, uh, having something happen that switches it and makes it uh, more beneficial to the countries, the people, the countries at large, the world at large, and the people in general. So it does look really strong, a strong fourth quarter for the financial aspect of it. And then when we <laughs> see this, the four of wands in the upright position for December. This is the, the last energy of the year of 2024. We have arrived, right? This is what I always say about this. We've reached the summit. We've reached um, a certain goal that has left people in a good, solid, stable situation. Like this fourth quarter here, people, I have to tell you, is absolutely beautiful. You know, cooperation, good, strong financial system, and a completion of something that brings great stability and strength to the the people of this world. So that is actually a very positive and very encouraging, uh, extremely encouraging reading for 2024. I don't know what you think. You can leave a comment, like I said in the beginning of the video. Please do leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this. I just decided to do this uh, a couple weeks ago, I just came into my head and then today was the day I'm like, I'm putting that out there. I threw the cards on the table and this is what I got. So I'm, I think personally, it looks pretty encouraging. I may have expected something different, but this is what I got. So um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I wanna say 
to each and every one of you. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you really enjoyed this reading, and I also hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Star Lord is signing off for now. Bye-bye.